If you have been on the fence of starting your own podcast and you have no idea how to start, or you have been listened as the listener for a while and have been thinking already that okay, I'm gonna start once, but you're not really sure what exactly you have to do, or you're not really sure that do you need to have a fancy home studio or not? You have no need to overthink about that. So I have my podcast for all three years, and I'm gonna share my experience with you. So. Keep Keep watching. Hi, if you're thinking to start a podcast, you are in the right place. So I have started my podcast for three years. I left one of the business partnership, and I felt like I didn't feel like myself at all. Like I lost total confidence, let's say. And my mom brought me my first microphone, and she said that, okay. What you are great at is interviewing people. So at least start the podcast so you can learn more from other people and you can gain your confidence again, so that you can feel like being yourself again and get back on your feet. Let's say that's the podcast journey basically to learn and to reflect. Myself through the eye of other people, where I interview, and that's where Get Unstuck Podcast has started. It's pretty cool, and let me tell you, it's actually very easy to start podcast. And I have seen many people overthinking about how to start a podcast, like literally many people. Why well, I have seen many posts like still thinking about start a podcast. I have been doing it for over three years. So I'm gonna walk you through today, 2023 version. So there are three phases that I think is worth mentioning. The first phase is to set up, like set up everything that you need. So first of all, you need to set the goal, like. What is this podcast for? Why you need to start this? What is this show is for? Who is watching your show or who is listening to your show, right? So this day is maybe required, and I also encourage you to do both audio and video form of your podcast. Yeah, because you can do it on YouTube and also other podcast platform as well. I think it's worth it. What is the goal for your podcast? What do you want it to be? Either it would be lead generation, building brand awareness, or like me, both building brand awareness and also actually talking to more people. Like that is really the ideal. Like learning from the expert in the industry and getting to know more people. Like really have the opportunity to talk to more people. Cause I pretty much keep everything with myself. Like I'm very reserved in that sense. So that's that's my intention of doing podcast to to be more open. So yeah, what is your goal? Thinking about that, it's very important to set the goal of the podcast. Oh, by the way, tips. If you're thinking about the branding, this is related to your goal. So I think you should decide it whether you're going to do the personal podcast or the brand podcast. I think you should make decision right now and do one podcast at a time. Cause as you can see here, it's like 15 or 16 steps to start a podcast. Don't overthinking just yet though. But there are many steps required to like have this workflow. But the more you do it, you will get into the repetition and you will get more equipped by doing so. However, it would require certain amount of time to like get into the routine of doing it as a podcaster you know so it takes time and it will be some process however the first phase of setting up you set it and then you're done but you want to get into the right legs right so making decision on whether you're gonna do personal brand podcast or you're gonna do your brand because some people have many podcasts though again it's going back to the goal that you set what is this podcast for so that is your intention of starting the podcast. First of all, my podcast is for business. So it would relate that to further on that we are going to set the podcast, this phase set up part. My podcast is usually regarding to the business goal, more brand awareness, more lead generation, etc. follower building. So that's the goal and it's brand oriented. So what about you? Next one is to decide on the format. And format is, this is important, like to know the format. So what are the format of the podcast? In general, people have podcasts can be like solo episode, interview form, telling story, news update, or teaching podcast, right? And 
I think this one can be overthinking. This is the part that can be overthinking because I think it can be mixed as long as it serves your purpose or your goal of the podcast. For example, my podcast is business podcast, mainly interview as a main format. However, when I don't have guests on the podcast, I do solo episodes as in educational teaching as well. And both still serve the audience that give the value of teaching experience to get unstuck in hamster wheel, what we have learned along the way. So it still give the same purpose and the goal of the podcast that what they will get after listening to our podcast, basically. Next point is after you know your format already, it would bring to understand the setup structure. So without knowing the format, you wouldn't know how you're going to set up the, the studio not get to the physical or the studio appearance just yet but thinking about this if you're going to do interview you're going to be the solo host or you do, do you can have a co-host as well as other type like telling story education or news update are you going to be the solo host or are you going to have co-host like how many people going to show up on your podcast what is the ideal show looks like for you in general like how it want to be if you're going to do only audio think about how many voices that people are going to hear like close your eyes and thinking about okay how it's going to look like i think it's very important to like vision it for the ended mind of the pictures that you want it to be because if not it would lead to the next point which is to decide whether you're gonna do it virtually or on site right once you know the setup then you need to know whether you're gonna no not only know but you need to decide whether you're gonna do it virtually or on site i have been doing only virtual podcasts to be honest but as you can see those big podcaster they have been doing on site and it looks so awesome here's the thing let me share you what i know the on-site podcast would require more equipment and maybe some technical thing that for the newbies you might not know how to like connect things together or solve things when things not really works well and it could overwhelm you not to keep doing podcasts in that sense so if you want to keep doing podcasts virtual may be good for you but i will share with you what is on site can be prepared so you need to set up lightning basically having a home studio or the studio that you're going to make it pretty right have a decoration set up lighting having cameras angles set up soundproof wall etc so those are for the studio how it looks like all the branding put together so that would be the thought that you have to put in if you're going to do it on site on the other hand for the virtual studio i think having a good camera and just a free software recording is all you need then right now we already have a little bit idea of how it's gonna look like at the end product how long your episode is gonna be I think you should think further like what is it that your personal preference yeah here's the thing this part can be changed like along the way me personally along the years that I have done podcast it has been changed why change because I think it depends on the sweet spot of the conversation and also the sweet spot of the content and the value that I want to convey the message to the audience so it really depends on um, whether it would be a short value content or longer content in that case depends on myself if it's a solo episode or depends on the guest whether they have a lot to share or not as well so you need to like earn more experience in doing this for a certain times in order to know that sweet spot first but at the initially i think you should start by knowing how long you usually listen podcasts for. because without knowing the starting point you wouldn't have any goals to start first so to start with what you like and then adjust from there would be the easiest way to go in my opinion and after you get any feedback from your audience you can pivot later it's not the end of the world like you can always adjust this thing trust me then it leads to how often you are going to publish your episode i would recommend that once a week would be a very good timing not to overwhelm yourself to like keep producing podcasts 
And also, I think personally, publish volume-wise podcast not really matters, but consistency more important because there are many people that started podcast and stop it in between. But a lot of podcaster has been in the game for long term. Like for example, I have been here for like more than three years. Other people that I have seen also in podcast for many years already. So if you are going to begin for podcast, thinking long term, like it's like your documentary somehow that you can document your life progress or your business progress or your learning progress or your research progress. So choose what you can do as a consistent frequency instead of volume wise. Now we need to combine together as a brand. So what are the key factors as a branding for the podcast? Name your podcast first. What's your podcast gonna be called? So going back to the goal, right? If you decided to do a company brand or business brand, that would be pretty easy. But thinking about how that name would speak to your audience, it could be a tagline or how it related to your goal, basically. I don't think it should be long. Like my podcast, Get Unstuck Radio, Get Unstuck Podcast. The more I speak about it, for me, three to four words is already long. <laughs> like every time that I say in the intro, it's like long enough already. So I think it's already sweet spot, like in couple words. Like if it's longer than that, I think it's, to be honest, too long. And thinking about it has to be fit within a tiny, podcast cover art as well so everything needs to be fit inside that you don't want a lot of work in there then you need to choose the category remember that i mentioned earlier regarding to the goal and also like the area that you're going to focus on your podcast my business and entrepreneurship what is your category is would related to the content that you would produce and also what is your intention and your basically the ideas of like your expertise and what is the story that you're going to share upon general contents like very popular would be health and fitness entrepreneurship religions music history etc like there are more you can choose but please choose according to the real content that you are going to share so it would be easy for you to be found then when you type like you have a podcast name you already shows your category thinking about your podcast description i think this part is pretty similar to doing youtube description to give the idea of like okay what this episode will be covered about and also give the ideas of who is your guest and where to follow them further like this is the sweet spot to to put everything for contact then what I mentioned, this tiny thing, podcast cover art. It's so small, like this is my podcast cover art, the latest version. I have changed many times and you can change, you know, depends on your branding. Like I have changed my logo, I have changed my branding many times along the years. Like not as often, but I do change. So it's changeable and I don't think you have to worry about that. Keep it flexible and also speak to what is up to date like keep updating it to your overall ecosystem of like what is going on in your ecosystem that towards the goal even you're gonna do it for lead generation like for more awareness brand awareness or popularity or, or anything but keep everything in your same ecosystem that they know that okay this is your brand keep the colors keep the font like keep everything in your brand identity that is inconsistent that would be my suggestion and also keep everything minimal and easy to understand because it's so small the area you can hire people from upwork or fiverr to do this or you can do it by yourself on canva it's not that hard to do podcast artwork but if you already have graphic to do it for you yeah just plug into your branding 
then you need equipment right i think the most important is microphone like i mentioned to you earlier at the beginning my mom even bought me a microphone and that's a game changer so this is the second microphone that i have this is the previous one that i used but this is the second i used this before this one so this is mono au903 the thing that i don't like is that i have to put this on the table which is here and it's too far from my mouth so my editors rent me <laughs> this mono pm401 instead because it has like a arm bow that i can move around so that it next to my mouth and the sounds would be clearer in that case so you want something that would give you hands free and also have a clear sound because podcasts really focus on audio rather than video even though you record both that's something to keep in mind and pop filter this thing they also have another one that like attachable the one that have a circle over here if you buy a mic usually it's come together but if not you should get one it's not expensive it will give your voice smoother then you have microphone you need a recording software my company use google meet and i will tell you why before that i use zoom with author.ai to transcribe and there is an issue between the software plugin from myself i don't know why and it's not really helping us for the workflow well so since we already use google workspace and everything can be plugged into google meet as well as we host everything on google drive anyway and plus google meet have auto transcription so that's like a total game changer so we use google meet and google meet transcription for show notes automatically and we have no need to use separate software to do that show note it's not 100% perfect but at least it saves a lot of time to do that so that's already easy for combine everything together and that's the workflow of how we record the podcast then you need podcast intro and outro and i think it's very important especially when you do audio podcast because the listener they don't see you usually the listener who listen to your podcast they would only listen right they may be driving go to work or back home they usually listen only they not really look on the other hand if they watch podcast video they may be watch your video but usually those who listen to podcasts they would listen they not really watch the video and because of that you would want to have your intro to tell them what is coming up and outro what next for them that's why i think it's so important to like have it pre-record plus you will be able to give them heads up that okay this is my podcast who i am break the ice in case they are new listener and also where can they subscribe for you further in case they will become fans if they like it yeah this thing is so important like keep them into your ecosystem so what is intro can be intro can be introduce yourself introduce your podcast who you are what is this podcast about and what they are going to listen about this can be pre-recorded and use it as long as you will change again it can be like a temporary and outro usually would be a call to action for example subscribe my newsletter or watch this next episode or give me a review on apple podcast etc or like this video subscribe to my youtube channel <laughs> so we have almost everything we need to outline normally the podcast would have three parts only intro body outro that's it but you can break it down like intro some people may have a teaser before intro depends like you can do more fancy with it but that would be only three part like in general and i usually tell my guests every time before i do an interview what is going on and what i would walk them through to the information that i have prepared before we do an interview with them because that also something that i can do as a break the ice for a stranger that i have never speaking with at all for the very first time and also give them like a prep talk of what they are going to see in case they have never listened to my podcast at all but they are my guests right now so i think that's a very good ice breaking conversation as well you can do that talking about guests um i usually get guests in for beforehand at the very beginning you if you decided to do an interview podcast 
you may have no guests at all and you have to reach out to people that you want to bring them on the podcast some people you may have to pay them to be on your podcast some people they may be a complimentary or they want to be on your podcast anyway this is very really depends on the condition and how you negotiate with that but then later on if you still stay in the game like where i am right now i have no need to reach out to any one of my guests and usually there will be agencies reach out to me and pitch me to have guests on my podcast these days so that's usually how it's happening right now there will be agency emails you back and forth and i will just send them calendar once i read whether they are a good fit or not according to our goal going back to our goal every time and if they are a good fit i will just send them the calendar so yeah and then let them apply once i gather that information i then can prepare for the episode yeah see them on the show now we get into phase two of the podcast this is recording time so usually recording phase is just one button away but let me tell you before you are going to record anything make sure that you test your microphone your camera and your internet is so important doesn't mean that mistake cannot be happened at all however you can prevent that and minimize the risk right there are many times that internet can be an issue but there are things in life that you can control and you cannot control which your guests understand technical problem is something that you cannot control but however you can minimize the risk yet you have to test it before you record because there are many times that my friends even record a podcast and forgot to turn on the mic and thinking about that that you already record one hour in and you forgot to turn on the mic is totally mooted you could cry trust me and also stick to the plan that you already think that you are going to do stick to it no need to overthinking just do it and publish you will be better at time few episodes wouldn't be as great as you expected and that's fine because you are playing long-term game anyway for me podcast is like therapy as i mentioned it builds confidence for me to be better in front of camera talking to people easier and yeah be more open to talking to more people and also having an easier conversation with other people who i have never met before so yeah it's a practice along the way i hope you enjoy doing it as well third phase is post-production so we have clips we have everything now we need to edit it you can choose whether you are going to edit the podcast by yourself or you're going to hire an editor to do it for you i think you can do it by yourself at the very first but if you decided to hire an editor check out this video i already did the seven red flag to hire a remote team member so i encourage you to check that but if you're going to do it yourself it can be very easy just use a normal editing video that plug in in your computer yeah when I just started, I just used iMovie. But right now, I'm just fortunate to have my editors to edit for me. Shout out. So that's really hands off for me to not think about that. But it can be done by yourself as well. So don't worry about that. Usually, editing would be like closing the gaps, the dead air gaps or jump cut or something. But again, keep in mind, it depends on the branding that you want to reflect. It depends on how your you want your audience to feel and your listener to understand how your episode would be like what is the end goal and picture that you envision this episode would be this is so important so set that goal first and then frame everything the rest later you need to add your intro and outro that you already recorded as well as you need to have both video and audio like mp4 and mp3 at hand so that you can publish later and this is add-on for marketing and promotion these days shots video is so important so usually when they do a long form video podcast they would prepare to do a short form video alongside as well so that they could promote the content even better no need to record many things just repurpose it right then we have all the clips ready you need to host your podcast so to host your podcast meaning to host the audio file with your podcast 
I use pot beans. So I use pot beans to host the audio file. And when I upload it, pot beans will use RSS feed to distribute my audio podcast to all of the podcast platform that I have already been approved and connected to. And then last but not least, promote your podcast. So spread a world that you have already published your first episode and let everyone know that they can check out your episode. It's here. This is the link of your social media and keep rinse and repeat this process so you already set up everything you just have to keep the phase two which is record and the distribution phase three and keep this in the loop once a week once a week once a week that is the routine that you are going to do moving forward so if you think that you cannot do it by yourself and you need someone to help you doing that especially the editing part so check out this video to know the red flag before you hiring someone trust me i have interviewed many freelancers and may outsource people or remote team worker so I just want to share that with you before you hiring someone but other than that you can do it by yourself believe me I have starting this by myself as well and yeah I'm still doing it and I really enjoy every single of podcast so welcome new podcaster and see you in the next video let's get unstuck